Hello, everyone. Welcome to East Coast Wrestling Association Television. I'm Ken Bennett, along with Flying Ryan O'Brien. Ryan, this week we finish up the Super 8 tournament. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. When it's all said and done, when the smoke clears, you're going to see standing the brand new first time ECWA TV champion. Now, who's still in it? Lance Diamond is still in it. Ace Darling is still in it. What is Barry Casino going to do? He's got two wrestlers in this tournament, and they've got to face each other. Who knows what's going to happen? The gears are turning. That's right, and the winner of that one goes on to the final round to face Cheetah Master, who beat Billy Kidman in one incredible match. The winner of that one is the first ever ECWA television champion. We've got it coming up next right here on ECWA TV. Be right back. Newark, Delaware, can you believe it? It is on its way, the World Wrestling Federation Live. And not only the World Wrestling Federation Live, Monday Night Raw live inside the Bob Carpenter Center, Monday, May 12th. Can you believe it? Over 30 of your favorite WWF superstars, including Bret the Hitman Hart, Psycho Sid, The Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ahmed Johnson, the man they call Vader, and so many more. Tickets are on sale right now. They're moving quickly. They start as low as 10 bucks. Get ready for May 12th. Hello everyone, more Super 8 tournament action. This is round two, Lance Diamond versus Ace Darling. Winner of this one goes on to face Cheetah Master in the final round. You gotta wonder what's going on here. Barry Casino is the manager of both of these wrestlers, Lance Diamond and Ace Darling. Both of these guys looking to advance and become the new ECWA TV champion. Gesture of friendship by between these two fine athletes. Oh, gesture of friendship just thrown right out the window. Hey, Sterling getting in a cheap shot there, taking advantage early. And we'd like to welcome the voice of ECWA to our broadcast booth, Big Al Napier. Welcome to ECWA TV. Thank you very much, gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here. This is a great match we have going on here between Lance Diamond and Ace Darling. Lance in control there. Knox Ace to the mat. Ace out of the ring. I tell you what, there's some history here, guys, with Ace Darling. Um, he is he's probably one of the top independent wrestlers uh, in the, the whole East Coast. Uh, Diamond, what can you say about Lance Diamond? This, this is a real treat for me, being able to see these two guys go at it, no holds barred. They're friends, but they, they both want the gold, and they're going at it, and they're just banging it up. They're, friendship, I don't know. I don't know about friendship here. Ace Darling extending that hand one more time. Lance Diamond shakes. I can't believe it. Surprised he, uh, he actually went for that that time. Very. Lance Diamond back into the corner. And a knee to the midsection by Ace Darling. A chop to follow up. Make it two. Reversal by Ace Darling and a chop of his own. Irish whip to the corner. Ow, that's got to hurt. Ace hit hard. Lance followed it with a fist. Make it two, and an elbow to the chest. Lance Diamond. I want to Diamond. remind you here, Barry Casino is the manager of both these wrestlers. you got to wonder what's going on inside his head. Is he playing favorites tonight? 
I guess only time will tell, really. But well, I can't, I don't know if you guys are picking this up, but can you believe this crowd is actually cheering for Lance Diamond? There's I, something I never thought I'd see. I've been, guys, I've been here for a long time. I've known Lance for a long time. And to actually hear a crowd cheering for him is the actual, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm almost speechless. Lance Diamond off the rope, ducked under. Irish whip. Ace ducks under. Nice hip toss by Lance Diamond. He's he's really gotten back on top of his game plan in this one. Wow. Hard right hand by Lance. Ace slides out once again. You know, Ken, these guys are playing it. These guys are playing it real tough. No, no friendship here. You can see. He, oh, he's over there with Casino. You guys, uh, we talked before we came on. Yeah, you know how, how I feel about Casino. Definitely no love lost there. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Ryan. He is without a doubt. I don't hate too many people in this world, but Barry Casino is one of them. I, uh, that's very understandable, Big L. Lance Diamond just thrown into the corner post. These guys have taken it outside. And you notice you haven't seen a whole lot of scientific... Oh, wow! That's got to hurt. I'm telling you guys, they're just mm. raw bone taking it to the... Uh, they're just taking it to each other. And uh, to me, um, if, I could, if I could see any, any favorite right now, I would have to say that, that Ace Darling is actually the more physical of the two. Excellent tactician, by the way. But Lance Diamond, no slouch himself, also an excellent technical wrestler. And Lance Diamond just got his fingers stomped on in the ring apron by Ace Darling. He looks a little dazed out. Whoa! Wow, Ace Darling went up and over and caught Lance Diamond good. He's taunting, Lance. He's taunting the fans. He's taunting everybody. <laughs> yeah, but you know, he's wasting time, guys. He, he certainly is. He's valuable time. Diamond, you know... Ryan, you mentioned it just a, just a second ago. You don't give Lance Diamond that kind of time out there. Definitely, it will come back to haunt you. And Ace Darling pulling Lance Diamond back into the ring. Elbow delivered to the base of the skull. Once again, conflict of interest potentially here in Camp Casino. Wow, flying body press reverse, the, the one. And Ace Only Darling two count. out. Whoa! Oh. Boy, that was something. Uh -oh. Zagori kick to the side of the head by Ace Darling. Darling saying it's over, I, uh, and I, I, he's still jaw jack, and you see, I, I can't believe this. From uh, look at this cover. The One, cover. Two. two. No Only way. Two. Uh -uh. No way you get Lance Diamond like that. No way. no way. But you notice how the tide of this match is just turning back and forth. Both of these guys have had the upper hand, reversed it. It's, yeah. it's anybody's game at this point. It really is. There's a sleeper hole. He's going for the sleeper. In the center of the ring. Ace Darling has the sleeper. Lance works his way over to the ropes. He's got to break that hold now. And the referee breaks it up. Uh, Rock Austin is our referee. And, and I tell you something, guys. Uh, sometimes Rock's a little slow. I don't know if he's... <laughs> Dropped on his head a couple times when he's a kid or what? <laughs> I, I really don't know. But uh, Whoa. Lance looks like he's in a lot of pain there. I think he uh, may have injured his shoulder I, I earlier think in the match. Ace looks like he's in a little more pain. <laughs> Again, Ken, I think uh, Rock Austin missed something there. Uh, I think you've seen it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I certainly seen it. Uh, but you know, neither one of these guys are choir boys, so uh, you know, well placed mule kick to Ace Darling. And Lance Diamond is just unloading on Ace Darling. Irish whip and a brutal clothesline puts Ace Darling down on the mat. Lance making quite a stand here on his own, doing it without the help of Barry Casino. Earlier in the tournament, he, uh, he asked both uh, Barry Casino and his previous manager, Dr. Destruction, to not be present at ringside and return to the dressing room. Wow, another clothesline delivered by Lance Diamond. And did you notice that uh, Ace has gone down to Barry Casino twice during this match? for some consultation. Lance has not. This may uh, this may definitely come back to haunt him. I think, uh, I think Lance Ooh. is pretty much on his own in this match. Ace Darling with the Irish whip. Misses with the clothesline. Wow. Double. You know, Ryan, I disagree with you. Think I, so? uh, I disagree with you, my friend. I just believe that Ace, or that, uh, excuse me, Lance Diamond has a lot of people out there on his side right now. 
The and people are see. on his side, of course, but I don't think Barry Casino is on his side right now. And there you see Barry Casino up on the ring apron, and it looks like he's shouting instructions to Ace Darling. I don't know about that now. You know, Casino, Camp Casino is pretty solid, guys. I, I mean, uh, you know. Oh, oh. oh. Wow. Beautiful kick. Super kick to the chin. One, Smash two, Casino. three. Nope. nope, no three. Diamond had his leg on the rope. Smart wrestling move by Lance Diamond. Truly knows where he is in the ring, and that's an important thing to do, especially in a tournament of this caliber. Absolutely. There's no there's no second place here, guys. Swing and a miss from Ace Darling. <laughs> there's that Northern Lights suplex. Watch One, the arch. two. Oh, no. This time Darling had his foot on the rope. Wait a minute. Wait. Did you guys see what I see? Did you see Barry Casino put Ace Darling's foot on that rope? I think yeah. he did. Hmm. Lance is not happy with this. Uh, I'll tell you what, I might be eating my words here. I don't understand this. Hmm. We've got a little dissension here. Oh, the, Roll the up. cover. That was it, the three count. I am in total shock here. I, I, I can't believe that Ace Darling just won this. Ace Darling is advancing to the final round to face the Cheetah Master. You big dummy! You didn't want him in your corner? Or that's what you get! You lose! Because you're a loser! Lance? You didn't want me in that corner? I don't want you in mine! You're fired! Fired! What? what? I can't believe it. Barry Casino just fired Lance Diamond, a member of Camp Casino at, for five years. He just fired him. This is amazing. I don't believe this. <laughs> I don't. I don't think Lance Diamond believes it either. Lance Diamond is uh, truly on his own, a man without a country right now. <laughs> he certainly is. Well, Ace Darling goes on to face a Cheetah Master in the final round of the Super 8 Tournament. We'll have that coming up next right here on ECWA TV. Newark, Delaware, can you believe it? It is on its way. The World Wrestling Federation Live. And not only the World Wrestling Federation Live, Monday Night Raw live inside the Bob Carpenter Center. Monday, May 12th. Can you believe it? Over 30 of your favorite WWF superstars, including Bret the Hitman Hart, Psycho Sid, The Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ahmed Johnson, the man they call Vader, and so many more. Tickets are on sale right now. They're moving quickly. They start as low as 10 bucks. Get ready for May 12th. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the final round in the Super 8 Tournament, Cheetah Master versus Ace Darling. It's all come down to this. The winner of this match is going to walk out of here with the ECWA TV Championship. First time ever. Not only will he be the TV champion, he will also be the number one contender for the ECWA Heavyweight title. Currently held by Viper. An incredible match we saw right here on ECWA TV last week. This is definitely the big show for these two guys, you know. They know each other very well. They're both former ECWA heavyweight champions. Uh, both, both of them know, they know the taste of gold. They want it again. You know, Ace is on a roll here uh, with, uh, with Perry Casino. And, you know, Cheetah Master is in a little bit of a slump. And in addition to that, if you remember last month right here at St. Matthew's Parish Hall, Ace Darling beat Cheetah Master in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Yep. Wait a minute. Look look at this. Oh. It's Captain Lou. <laughs> you know, Lou Albano is 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 probably one, one of the greatest managing minds in, in all of professional wrestling. But I'll tell you what, he'll put Barry Casino's lights out in about two seconds, too, let me tell you. And I would love to, to watch that. I'd pay to see that, believe me. Captain Lou Albano will take no grief from anyone. I think some of those fans would pay to see that also. <laughs> Cheetah Master with the drop toe hold. 
into the arm bar down on the mat. You know, this is a little bit uncharacteristic of Cheetah here. He's got this slowed down. Uh, He's going know. for the cover. Nope. You're saying that this is not... Uh... This is uncharacteristic. Oh, man, he slapped the taste. Hey, Cheetah, I'm used to watching Cheetah with his high flying, and he's just not doing it. I don't know if he's if he's injured or, or what, but it, it just doesn't look like the same Cheetah Master to me. I, and I could be wrong, guys, but uh, that's well, what it looks like. Cheetah Master is still recuperating from a from a terrible back injury he got from being slammed through a table a couple of months back. And if you remember last month, Ace Darling really worked on that lower back. Reversal. Ow. Ooh. Up over the top rope goes Ace Darling. He's down on the floor. And let me tell you something, buds. That floor right there is very, very hard. He hit hard, and he's hurting. He's the uh, casino's over there uh, trying to console him. But hold on, what do we got coming up here? Whoa, Whoa. off the top. High risk maneuver. Cheetah Master taking flight. Our fans here at ECWA love it. Very appreciative of the Cheetah Master here. And the Cheetah Master pounding on Ace Darling, throws him back into the ring. Oh, now that's, now that's a, a throw with authority. Looks like he's going up high there, guys. Oh, now this is the Cheetah Master comes. I know. Get your boarding pass, because you're about to fly Air Cheetah. Air Cheetah up. Oh, oh, and down the hard way. Crash landing there. Cheetah took a big shot in the ribs on that one. Darling oh, going for the choke. Darling blatantly choking him right in front of the referee. Again, I don't understand this. Look at this. I don't understand. If he's disqualified, he's not the television champion. I don't understand. It's not a good game plan, but Ace Darling drops a big leg on Cheetah. Well, maybe it's also personal, too. Got a good point, Ryan. You know, he, he stops. He gets off of him like he did be, you know, before he yaks with the crowd. I, I don't know. He'll follow the rules to a point. You know, the referee will make him break, but that still gives him time to get in that cheap shot. And there you just saw... Ace Darling deliver a vicious elbow right to Cheetah Master's face, and he is down. Just dropped another elbow. One, two, and only a two count. Going back to choking him. I can't believe the referee's actually allowing this to go on like this. Well, I guess he's giving him a lot of leeway in this wow. match. Wow, a nice standing drop kick by Ace Darling. You know, I said this before, you know, Ace Darling is a top-notch competitor. There's no taking it away from him. You know, besides the controversy with Casino and Diamond and and all the all that aside. Ooh. If you're just joining us, remember uh, earlier in the show, you saw Ace Darling take on Lance Diamond in an earlier round, and uh, Lance Diamond was fired by Barry Casino. And Cheetah Master just fired an elbow into Ace Darling's face. Off the ropes and a vicious clothesline. Now, now it looks like now I'm seeing the Cheetah of old here, guys. He's starting to turn it up a notch. Big scoop and a slam. Yeah, Cheetah Master is definitely picking up the pace. Looks like he's going up top. Here he goes. Make sure your seat belts are locked hmm. and your tray tables are in their full upright positions. <laughs> We're coming in for a landing. There's a cover. Big flying body press, only a two count. Captain Lou out there eyeing up that trophy. Uh, <laughs> it might be a little bit premature, but uh, he's eyeing it up pretty good. Air Cheetah going up top again. This match a catalyst to become the very first Ouch. Ouch. ECWA television champion. You know, I don't know if the you guys, either one of you guys have had the pleasure to be in that ring, but I've had but one. There's two, and he got it. Wow. That's it. Why do you have a new TV champion, Ace Darling? Oh, man. The magniloquent Ace Darling, the very first ECWA television champion. Yes, he is rather pompous, isn't he, Ken? He's a... <laughs> hey, you guys are outrageous, man. <laughs> Somebody has to be. There you see Ace Darling, the new ECWA TV champion. Handed the Super 8 Cup. Casino there, uh, hugging him or kissing him or whatever he's doing, I have no idea. Oh, he's patting him. Let's not even go there. That ECWA Super 8 Cup, the reason that eight of the best independent wrestlers in the Northeast region came here tonight. And Ace Darling walks away with it. Got to give it to him. You got to give it to him. 
And you know, the thing that amazes me is Ace Darling won that fair and square. No outside interference. No outside interference by Barry Casino. I was quite impressed with that. And as I think Cheetah is as well. Wait yeah. a minute. Cheetah's got something to say here. Cheetah Master giving Ace his due. As well as he should, I'll tell you. I mean, the man pending fair and square, as you pointed out earlier, Ken. Very One, appreciative two, of his fans there. Most Big definitely. gesture of sportsmanship on behalf of Cheetah Master, taking it fair and square. Extending his hand to. Looking to congratulate the new TV <laughs> champion. What? Whoa, Devin Storm! Out of oh, nowhere! No, no, oh, no, I no. believe this! They are mugging Cheetah Master! I just can't believe it! Devin Storm, you know, this guy, he's, he's a little bit off, you know. Uh, Devin Storm defeated by Cheetah Master in the first round. Came out a couple times during this, uh, this match here trying to help Ace Darling. They're just I, going to town here. Cheetah's taking a beating. I can't you know, believe they're it. They're calling for the bell. They're pushing the refs out of the way. After the show of sportsmanship and the way he beat Cheetah Master, you would think that we could, for one time, not have something like this. I don't especially believe this. Super this is, eight, the th whoa, whoa, what is this? We got Lance Diamond with the chair. Lance Diamond in the ring with the chair, clearing out Camp Casino. He has come to Cheetah Master's rescue. I don't believe this. No way, no way. All these years of bad blood, no way. Then again, he could have been coming down. Look, to clear out Camp Casino. No, no. Guys, I'm telling you, I've been around this game a long time. No way in this world. Newark, Delaware, can you believe it? It is on its way. The World Wrestling Federation Live. And not only the World Wrestling Federation Live, Monday Night Raw live inside the Bob Carpenter Center. Monday, May 12th. Can you believe it? Over 30 of your favorite WWF superstars, including Bret the Hitman Hart, Psycho Sid, The Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ahmed Johnson, the man they call Vader, and so many more. Tickets are on sale right now. They're moving quickly. They start as low as 10 bucks. Get ready for May 12th. Don't forget, fans, the ECWA returns to St. Matthews in Newport on Saturday, March 22nd at 7 p.m. Not much time, only a week left. Get your advance tickets at the Maryland Avenue Right Rate or call 999-9662. We're also going to be giving away free tickets to WWF Raw at the Bob Carpenter Center, so don't miss it. Here's a rundown for the next event. Viper defends his new ECWA heavyweight title against the former champion Glenn Osborne in a stretcher match. Also paybacks are hell as the tag team of Ace Darling and Devin Storm take on the new alliance of Lance Diamond and the Cheetah Master. Special event scheduled, Midget Wrestling. And don't forget to show your true colors as an ECWA fan. You can get t-shirts, hats, coloring books, and videos at the event. To find out all the latest updates of the ECWA, you can call the Action Line at 1-900-622-8258, extension 3871, $2.99 per minute, must be 18 to call, get your parents' permission. And you can find out what's going on in the ECWA online. You can catch Fly and Ryan's ECWA TV online in cyberspace. Just email at ECWATV1 at AOL.com. Just a reminder, WWF Raw is coming to Delaware at the Bob Carpenter Center on the University of Delaware campus in Newark, Monday, May 12th. Stay tuned for details. That's the East Coast Wrestling Association, baby. Don't miss it. It's an East Coast thing. 
Newark, Delaware. Can you believe it? It is on its way. The World Wrestling Federation Live. And not only the World Wrestling Federation Live, Monday Night Raw live inside the Bob Carpenter Center. Monday, May 12th. Can you believe it? Over 30 of your favorite WWF superstars, including Bret the Hitman Hart, Psycho Sid, The Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ahmed Johnson, the man they call Vader, and so many more. Tickets are on sale right now. They're moving quickly. They start as low as 10 bucks. Get ready for May 12th. Here it was, folks. You saw it just moments ago. Lance Diamond came in the ring with a chair, cleared the ring of Camp Casino, and apparently saved the Cheetah Master. I don't believe this. These two have been such bitter rivals for as long as I can remember. This is just this is just the most unbelievable thing I've seen here. I've been around here a long time, guys, and this is not happening. These two guys, no way. Whoa. Whoa. They just saw each other for the first time, realizing they're both in the ring. What do you think? Are they are they ready to go at it now? They could. I don't trust this. This is not right. This is just not right, man. No way. Not Diamond and Cheetah. Not all the wars, battles they've had. No way. Not to mention going through a table together last you, December. Right. Not too. The, not that much long ago. No Cheetah's way. Cheetah's asking the fans right now. Did he save me? They're in each other's faces, though, guys. I don't know. Acknowledging help from Lance Diamond. Looks, you looks, never know. Looks where like Lance was about to cut out of there, but Captain Lou wants to say something here. said it could never happen, but fans, it looks like it has. Two wrestlers who said they could never put aside their differences have, and for Ace Darling and Devin Storm, that means it's time to pay, and the collectors will be Cheetah Master and Lance Diamond. Folks, stay tuned, it is just getting started. Don't forget, ECWA is returning live to St. Matthews on Saturday, the 22nd of March.